It's Friday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. The line of cars to Arapahoe Basin stretched all the way to Keystone this morning, but in the parking lots, it was all smiles. We made it and we're up in the upper lot here. Psyched to get out and uh, get some turns in for sure. That was Frisco local Damon. Like a lot of people, he tried to go yesterday but turned around when a basin closed for weather. Yeah, that was the grand psych. The universe just got our hopes up and then said, nope. Up from Denver today were Benny and Leah, also psyched. A basin is my favorite, so I can say I'm super psyched. Those two live in the Cherry Creek area. They've been there only four months, and yesterday's storm was the most snow they've ever seen in town. Fluffy white snow coming down pretty much all day. It was wet, it was heavy, it was beautiful. Yeah, I would say extremely wet. Went for a walk, <laughs> didn't put my uh, waterproof boots on, and got absolutely soaked, like to the ankle. The line of cars the way basin is still there right now. Dozens of cars are parked on US 6. Dozens more are lined up at the lower Loveland Pass switchback, waiting for a spot in the upper lots. Loveland Pass, it's closed. Also closed is Berthed Pass into Winter Park and the road to Eldora Mountain. Eldora got four feet of snow from the storm. Open now to commercial vehicles is I-70 from Silverthorne to C-470. New CMV traffic had been restricted since yesterday. Earlier today, we reported that Summit School District was back, but kids are out of school today. They have a regularly scheduled four-day break. A 58-year-old man died skiing at Keystone yesterday morning when he hit a tree on Flying Dutchman. He was wearing a helmet. This is the third confirmed inbounds fatality of the season here in Summit, the fifth reported in Colorado. Avon is pleading with CDOT to fix U.S. Highway 6 after two fatal and unsolved hit and runs this winter. Vail Daily reports the highway between Avon and Edwards is not designed for pedestrians. A nearby wreck path is often buried by snow. Local avalanche danger remains high today at every elevation in Summit County. There is a special avalanche warning good for peaks in Summit and east through the afternoon. The danger is considerable from the Gore Range west into the Vale area with no avalanche warning there. Arapahoe Basin was blasting bombs today out in Montezuma Bowl and we could hear the wump across the entire south side Loveland Pass from snow settling. Take it easy. Be careful. In sports, the Nuggets play the Spurs tonight at 6.30. The FIS World Cup Finals will open tomorrow in Austria. Michaela Schifrin will be on course for the tech events. She will not be gunning for another Crystal Globe. Switzerland's Laura Gutbrami could win four. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz & Associates with American Family in Dillon. Summit High Boys Lacrosse is playing Eagle Valley at home today. Girls Lacrosse has Eagle Valley away. Track and field competes in rifle. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.